Hi, hello everyone, welcome back to the Automation on your YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to demonstrate how to wire the IFM temperature sensor to an S7200 PLC analog input. In this particular model of the temperature sensor, the analog output is 4 to 20 milliampere, but our PLC can only accept 0 to 10 volt. So we will convert the current to voltage and then we will create the program in the TA portal. Let's move on to the example and then we will create the program. This analog input is 7200 wiring diagram. So here is the temperature sensor that I use from the IFM. The model number is to TD2507 temperature sensor. So this particular IFM temperature sensor has only 4 to 20 milliampere output. Okay, this is the example. So in this example, we are going to use IFM temperature sensor. The model number is TD2507. So we use this sensor to connect to uh, an S7200 PLC analog input. Okay, this is how you need to do the wiring for this and temperature sensor. Temperature sensor has a four point connector. One is L plus, two is the output, the three is uh, L minus, fourth one is IO link, which is we are not going to use here. In the future videos, then I will explain how to use the IO link connections. So L plus is 24 volt DC, which you need to connect to the sensor and the L minus is the 0 volt DC, which also you need to connect here. The third one, analog, analog signal, which is from the sensor, you need to connect to the S7200 PLC analog input. And then you also you need to connect the negative of this voltage to the analog input terminal. This temperature sensor has only 4 to 20 milliampere output. So we are going to convert it to 0 to 10 volt. In order to convert, you need to connect the resistor across to, to these terminals. So I, I have used 510 ohm resistor to convert the current to voltage. This is how you need to do the wiring for this analog input. So the next we are going to see how to program the analog input in TA portal. So we are going to use 4 to 20 milliampere and convert to 0 to 10 volt. So here is the Siemens is explain how to use this uh, 0 to 10 volt. This is the nominal range you can see here is uh, 0, 0 volt and 10 volt. The 0 volt you have to 0 value and 10 volt is 27. 648 this is the maximum value that you can use to scale the analog input Nomex is used to convert the integer value to real value so that we can connect our term analog input temperature sensor address here and then we can do the minimum maximum value and finally you can get the temperature output you can use this temperature output to scale the value whatever you want so that we can set minimum max value and then we can get the exact temperature on our PLC. So let's go to the TA portal and then we can create the PLC program. Before that I will forget to explain to you how I use these numbers. Okay, These numbers actually is given from the Siemens PLC 27648 is the highest one. The minimum is 0. If you use 0 volt, you have to put it 0 here. But I have put 5400. 5, so here is the calculation that I have. Uh, how I come up with these numbers. So 27648. Uh, 27648 is equal to 20 milliampere. That means we need to we need to calculate for 4 milliampere. So I divide into 20 and then multiply with the 4. So that this is the numbers I, I can get. So I can adjust the numbers to what's the exact range that you want so now we are here in the Siemens TA portal this is my existing project that I already created for this example but if you don't have such a project you can watch my previous videos how to create new project and then we can add new devices into the project so for this example I am going to use this project file so my PLC is here and then HMI is here. So we will open the program blocks, the main OB. 
there is a simple program that I already created is here that we are going to create a new program for the analog input. So you can add a, add a new network. The network two is here. So you can write down, you can, you can write it here as analog input. Unlock input four to twenty milliampere zero to ten volts conversion. Now we're going to use the conversion operation here. So you go on the basic instruction and then you click on the conversion operation. Here you can see the nomex. So we click and drop it here the nomex. Okay. Now we need to give the address to the S7000 PLC analog input. Okay. So you need to convert from integer to real value first we use the nomex and then scale as here this is the value the temperature available address you need to give an analog input uh, address for this you need to know the address you can go here the device configuration and then click it on the plc and go to the properties then you can see here you can see yes this Digital input, analog input, analog output. So this is the analog input. You click on the channel zero. And presses. Okay, you can see here the input data is. 64 and 67 so the first analog input that we are going to use uh, start with the address 64 if you want to have a clear address that you can click on the io tax and then go down until you see this analog input okay here this is the analog input that you are going to use iw64 so you can name you can give a name for this Temperature and let's go raw. So this is the raw value so that we can give a temperature raw. Okay, you go back to the main OB. Here is the main OB. So the here that we need to connect the address. Just now we name as temperature raw. So you can type it temperature raw. Okay, you can click it and select this temperature raw here is so our maximum value that i already told you two seven six four eight the number which is given from the siemens that we need to use for the max value minimum value we can use zero in case if we are using zero volt but our case we using 4 to 20 million uh, 4 to 20 milliampere conversion to 0 to 10 volt which is you need to calculate for the minimum value is uh, 4 milliampere that i already done the calculation the number is 5 4 0, 0. this is the minimum number that we going to use address you can give a name address so temperature Let's go value. You can right, right click it, define as a tag, then you click on it, click global, global memory, and then define. So now we use the normx to convert from digital to real. Then we can use the scale x to scale the value from where to where you want to display it. Okay, for this, you go to the conversion operation and then click the scale x and drag and drop. Okay, now you are going to scale the value. Which value you are going to scale? This is the temper 
temperature value you copy and then paste it here this value you're going to scale how you want to scale the scaling range how much you want so if you want to scale the value from 0 to 100 degree you can put 0 to 100 degree if you want to scale the value from 0 to 200 you can put it 0 to 200 so in this temperature sensor as the temperature range is to 0 to 100 degree celsius so i'm going to put minimum is 0 and then maximum is 100 then this is the temperature real value click in global memory this is the real Okay, define. So this is how we need to do the program in this S seven thousand two hundred PLC for the temperature sensor on the input. I have done the conversion and then I have done the scale. Now we will connect these two. We will create the HMI section and then we will transfer this program to the PLC in HMI and then we will test how this program is functioning okay go to the HMI this is the HMI section go to a screen okay road screen so this is the previous section that I already created but today we're going to use the analog input so we can okay just write it analog temperature value temperature You need to display the value here for this you need to click on the elements and then you click on this I will field drag and drop here so click on the properties okay here you can see that gentle here you need to click the PLC tag so go to the PLC tags Click on the default tag table and go to the temperature real value and then click it. Okay, now we have assigned the assigned the temperature value to the HMI section. Okay, now how you want to display the numbers? So here is the format. So you want to show it on the decimal, then you can have a decimal, and here you have the format pattern. So I want to display it on two digit, yes, double digit, or maybe you can, if you want, add more. Then you can click it or put it on more digit so that you can see more digits here. Increase the number value is twenty one, so you can see it as a big numbers. Okay, this is how you need to connect this. Term. Okay, this is how we need to connect this temperature value to the HMI IO field section. Okay, now we have done our part in the PC. Then now we have to transfer this program to the PLC and then HMI and then we will test it how this function. Okay, let's try and download this program to the PLC and then HMI. Okay, now we will download the PLC program first to the 7000 PLC. Okay, click on the PLC and click on download to device. Select to the PGPC interface which is Ethernet adapter and you click search. So this is the PLC, click it and 
click for again click load wait for a moment and now click finish so now your program is successfully downloaded to your S7200 PLC you can see here there is no error and no warning now let's go to the HMI section and download it click on the HMI click on the download to device select your Profinet PC PG interface which is Ethernet adapter I click on search button so is yes, HMI wait for a moment finish is there click on the HMI and click on the low so it's now it's doing the compile once the compile done then you need to load this program to the HMI so now this HMI also is downloaded successfully to the real HMI unit now we can test the program and then we can see so go to main OB and then you click this monitor button to watch what's the real value is here okay you can see there so which means here is all is green which means your PLC program in the PC and the PLC is same so now you can just close this and then you can watch it here so now you can see here the normx and scalex is doing its function and then you can get the output of 29.72 this is the temperature real value x y now I'm going to show you the real PLC and the HMI section so that you can see how much temperature is displaying on the temperature sensor and as well in the HMI. Okay. Let's go there and do it. So this is my PLC setup that you can see and the power supply unit, PLC and then HMI and then this the temperature sensor. So you can see that the temperature sensor is showing is 30.1 degree C. So 30.8 degree 7 degree. So that you can see on the HMI 30.49 which is also is close to the same value. Also you can see on the PC itself. The value is 30.33 so that so this is how you need to do the plc programming for the analog input in the 7200 plc so now i will increase the temperature and then you can see the variance in the hmi as well as in the temperature sensor You can see the temperature is getting increased and decrease and then also you can see on the so you can see this value is gradually decreasing as same as sensor and HMI the PLC. So thanks for watching my video.